Number 99, which of the following molecules have a dipole moment? And then we have SES2. Does SES2 have a dipole moment? I don't know. What is a dipole moment? Good question. A dipole moment is a fancy way for saying two things, basically. If you have a dipole moment, your molecule is automatically classified as being a polar molecule. And if we just look at our acronym SNAP, S-N-A-P, your polar molecules are always going to be asymmetrical. There is an uneven distribution of electrons around the whole molecule. So basically, an uh, uh, easy example would kind of be like if I had carbon, and then I had maybe a chlorine and three hydrogens. If I try to cut this down the middle, right, you could clearly see, look, what happened to that H? We can clearly see that since there's a chlorine on one side and three hydrogens on the other, this would be asymmetrical. It's not all, you know, symmetry on all sides. That would be if I just had the four hydrogens. Then everyone's happy. And if you have complete symmetry, you're a nonpolar molecule and that does not have a dipole moment. Because everything is nice and even and there's no pull of electrons. So right off the bat, if you have a dipole moment, that asymmetrical distribution, you got to be polar. Okay. Now, as we get more familiar with just seeing these molecules, we might be able to pick out whether this molecule is polar or nonpolar. What would you say? If you had to look at this molecule, would you give a hypothesis or an estimated guess whether it would be symmetrical or asymmetrical? I hear you. There's a mix of, there's a mix of answers. Some of you say, symmetrical, because you have two sulfurs around the selenium, but maybe some of you say, ah, this could be two, this is a trick, right? It could be asymmetrical, but we don't like to guess here, right? Chemistry, there's always a way to get the definite answer. And for these, take a step back, take a few seconds, draw the Lua structure. The Lua structure is going to unlock a lot of answers, especially dipole moments, bond polarity, molecular geometry, hybridization. So um, always seeing the Lewis structure, especially in the beginning of the game, will get you familiar with what these uh, molecules look like. So there's tons of videos on the channel designated to drawing Lewis structures. We go step by step there. If you need more guidance, I'm there for you guys. This one will kind of be a quick inversion. You could pause the video and see if your answer matches mine. Now selenium in the middle, Least electronegative is always in the middle. And then I have my two sulfurs on both sides. Now, in order to get the octets around sulfur, sulfur has six valence electrons. So we would need a double bond because that would be two electrons from the sulfur and then the four remaining will give the sulfur the octet. So we have double bonds here, double bonded out. There we go. And now, since selenium had six valence electrons, we used four of them for the one side of the single, you know, the double bonds for each bond. And then that means that we would have one lone pair in the middle. Okay, what a lovely drawing, if I don't say so myself. Um, okay, so now let's see if this is symmetrical or asymmetrical. Now, one of the big things to do is to basically take your center atom and always just cut it down the middle and just see, okay, is the left side the same as the right side? Now, if we're just looking at the sides, well, yeah, right? I have a double bond with the sulfur with two lone pairs. I have a double bond with sulfur with two lone pairs. So technically, this side can uh, cancels out with the left side. The left side cancels out with the right side. But now, here is a really, really good little trick to make sure that you follow. You always know that you have a polar molecule when your center atom has lone electrons. You're looking for those dots. And even though in this case the sides looks good, ah, selenium had a lone pair. So if you have electrons that are favoring in the up position, 
and you don't have any that's going in the opposite direction, uh, that's not going to work. So anytime that you see center atoms having dots, I don't care how many, one, two, three, four, whatever, um, it's always going to be a polar molecule. So it's because of these electrons, these sneaky little electrons on the center atom that makes this A symmetrical. So just make sure. Oh, so maybe I'll put like a big X here. So even though the sides look good, these are throwing off the symmetry. So it's asymmetrical overall, so we know that this has to be polar. And because of that, polar molecules have dipole moments. There is an unequal distribution because of those lone electrons. So yes, this will have a dipole moment. And let's box it off and call it a video. Oh yeah. Okay, let's color, color, color. Not really my best, but whatever. <laughs> anyway, what'd you think? Thank you for tuning in here, uh, watching the video, getting your chem information at this channel. I love helping you guys out. Thank you so much for your kind comments in the, you know, I guess whatever that's called, the comment section. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, you guys rock. Keep studying hard. We also have physics and math videos on the channel, so go check out the channel. More subjects to come. We really do love helping you guys out. My brother and I were so appreciative of all of you who have made this channel what it is. So thank you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.